<laughs> Today we finally gonna react to Bocci B2. It's incredible, but Bocci, the creator of Dr. Stone, has its own YouTube channel. And what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna react to some of his traditional drawings and some digital drawings. I'm actually reading Dr. Stone right now. I said this uh, a couple of times already now and I'm, I'm absolutely in love with the character design, everything. And so what we see here is that the drawing is already done and I can always say this every single time we do watch one of those videos that the speed is probably gonna kill us again. Look at how quickly he is pushing out the hair and uh, you can actually see already in these first 30 seconds uh, how good he is as an artist. You can always clearly tell immediately when someone has a great brush strokes and what I think is truly amazing and incredible and incredible and, and, and incredible that he is inking with a brush. Look at this. He has this smearing paper so he don't start accidentally smearing with his with his fingers and uh, um, palms and stuff. But can we quickly talk about that this is actually a paper where he did some sketches and look at this seems like um, an x-ray drawing or like a blueprint drawing of a gun or something and some sketches as well and this is just mind blowing. I mean look at this crazy detail and if you haven't read Dr. Stone or watched the anime it's it's just super incredible and fun to read because there are all these techniques uh, behind uh, all this scientific stuff explained like not in crazy detail but you get a point how science works a bit I guess so uh, I guess Bocci is probably really interested in that topic and uh, I still think that the character design is so unique and it's something new even though it has all the main things that typical anime design male character design has spiky hair and pretty typical manga eyes but I think uh, you can't see this in this drawing but Denko has this really cool gradient going on in the hair so the things that he's drawing with black up here is actually green in the anime so green hair on top and then he has a slight fade to blonde hair which is looking so cool and so new and so unique I, I just love the character design yeah seeming drawing like that is is crazy as well oh my god here is another perspective shot of this gun right here I mean look at this sketch alone it's so incredible wow look at this this is stuff like this I would love to see so if you maybe watch this just show us some of those sketches if you can. This is like incredible stuff and I love to see those sketches. Sometimes even more than the finished artwork which is kind of crazy but yeah. I think that's like an artist thing that you love to look at sketches more than the finished art. Zengu is eating right here so he has this, this um, bump on his... What is this called in English? Ah, no, it's not, the chin is right here and then there are the cheeks. A bump in the cheeks, on the cheeks, I, I don't know, you know, I don't really know how to say words correct in English, but I, I, I at least try, okay? So, by the way, this is a real-time video, so we are now nine minutes in. He has already done the face inking completely, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see Wow, these quick strokes with the brush that he does there, the folds. Wow, you can see like the years and years and years of practice and knowledge behind those brush strokes, you know. That's just always fascinating to see. Look at this. It looks so effortlessly. And drawing folds is one of the hardest things in character design, I feel. Because you can completely screw up your, your, your drawing if you do just random um folds okay we jump forward to him drawing the hand and i mean there's an under drawing but still so much confidence with drawing the hands wow and then these super light strokes for the the, the nails which is crazy look at this third finger done 
directly doing some shading with some awesome line weight where there is not a lot of light coming through he is doing these really dark lines and that's actually what a brush can do perfect uh, it's probably the best tool if you work with a lot of line weight having because you can draw super thin lines but at the same time also pretty thick lines and um, that makes the brush so awesome to work with and also I have to say as well makes the brush the hardest drawing tool to control I guess at least I feel that way I think line liners and uh, ink pens are the easiest to use and then there are like some uh, pens with a brush nib then there comes the G pen and then the master level is a brush pen. Okay, let's jump forward a bit. If you want to watch the whole video of this, there's a link in the description. 22 minutes in and we are close to be done. Already drawing the next hand there. And I'm actually really um, curious about... Wow, look at this. Whoa, look at how quickly he's doing these strokes again. Bam. Da. Little curve, straight line, bam. Bruh. Wow. It is just come on guys, if you don't if you don't feel like how amazing that is, I think you don't feel anything at all. <laughs> like I don't know. I always feel like crazy for you know being so excited about seeing people that have perfected drawing, especially with the brush pen. And I think it's probably a bit weird, but let me know down in the comments if you are always also freak out if you see masters like him drawing and wow and look look at how many details he's directly putting in there and I, I think it's incredible that he just instead of like for example draws the whole hamburger at first and then add detailed shadows later on he starts with drawing the bread now he starts probably drawing in the cheese and the meat and he's directly also adding a lot of details with the brush pen and what it looks like that he's just doing random strokes, random lines, but I think every single dot that he makes, there's so much knowledge behind it that it looks just incredible. I mean, look at this. Wow. Well, look at the cheese running down from the burger. I feel like really weird saying all this stuff, but it's, it's just incredible, guys. Okay, so that's his traditional drawing. Wow, some bacon here. I mean, that's probably, honestly, the most detailed drawing of a burger I've ever seen and it's just on a manga panel probably isn't that incredible and this took him like literally when did he start yeah it literally took him four minutes to draw this burger like inking this burger he did the drawing before but still here is the finished drawing guys which is pretty incredible but now me personally as someone who draws most of the stuff digitally i can't wait to see his digital drawings uh, as i said he said in one of those videos that he started drawing traditionally and then he switched over due to time reasons um to drawing completely digitally his manga completely digitally if i'm not mistaken uh, maybe he changed changed this again or maybe i got this wrong but that's at least what I have in mind. He's also a big fan of collecting manga figures, I think. He has also a video where he unpacks some. And the more I see Zenku as a figure, I really want to buy one. Hmm. Let me know down in the comments, guys, if I should buy a Zenku figure and put it to my other figures. Okay, the drawing is already done as well and now he starts digital inking. Wow. And what I love, honestly, it seems like, obviously it's a completely different tool. It's a pen, it's a digital pen, but his, his movements look super similar to when he works with the brush, when he added like the details on the burger and stuff. So that, that's pretty cool. Ah, okay, so he added some voice here. Let me Let's see. Let's explain the words that Boichi Sensei said in his video in English. Ah, okay, so he adds some like computer uh, voice in English to his videos, which is pretty cool. That is awesome. A 
especially this color cover drawing I'm working on is the image of science fiction from the past. Okay, so he is, this is actually a cover for one of his chapters. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I think, you know, this is crazy that he says that thing, but a lot of us, probably you as well, uh, that draw, that a lot of us artists are like driven by childhood memories, the, the mangas we watched as a kid, the movies we watched as a kid. Uh, I still remember like drawing Dragon Ball characters as a kid all the time, drawing Star Wars characters all the time. That's actually what kind of yeah, inspires me still to this day, you know, and, and he is actually saying that he's still inspired by the 80s cartoons and 80s series as well, so pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I love to just, you know, get some background knowledge about the artist as well, where he finds his inspiration and stuff. Pretty cool. Oh, here's Zenku again. Okay, he zooms in really, really closely. I have to say, this is like... Probably really epic drawing as well, but I, I, when I watch those guys, I just personally really enjoy watching the traditional art more. It's, I think, even though I do mostly digital drawing and it's still also difficult, I kind of enjoy watching people traditionally a lot more, which is kind of weird because, as I said, I, I love digital art. Um, I love making digital art so does he also color the characters okay no that's like just he's masking the characters and then he's coloring them in another video probably wow but the cover look at this looks freaking awesome so now i think we have to search if he actually also uploaded the video where he colored this um no i think he didn't upload that yet Maybe he will, he will upload it in the future. This is the video I was talking about where he unpacks some collectibles from One Piece and stuff. And I'm really thinking about buying a Zenku figure uh, for myself. Um, pretty amazing. Check out his channel. I've linked it down in the description. Let me know if you like this video and if I should buy the Zenku action figure. And here are some of my other videos you can watch. And then I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. See you there. Bye bye.